welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Mr. Awesome himself, and today we got a very special awesome haul. Awesome haul number 77. Right, Adrian? Uh, and before we go to there, let's give a great shout out to hmm, let's give it to Funko Rebel. If you have not, go follow him on Instagram at Funko Rebel or check his YouTube channel. He does videos every almost every day. Go check him out. He does unboxing. He does toy hunts. Go check him out. So now let's go to the one and only Ooh, Wally. Take it away, Wally. Wally. Today we figure out what we got from eBay and Amazon. Let's see what we got. Wally. Thank you, Wally, for protecting those packages. As you saw, we're gonna open up a couple boxes, some from eBay and one from Amazon Prime. I don't remember what I ordered from Amazon Prime. Oh, it's maybe it's a gift. Hopefully it's a gift. I am waiting for a lot of packages. I'm waiting for like three packages from Midtown Comics. I'm waiting for some Amazon Prime things, especially the G.I. Joe classified figures. Um, I am waiting for some pops that I pre-ordered a while ago that I haven't, I haven't received them yet. So stay tuned to the channel. We are already in episode 76. So. If you like my channel, tell your friends. Share these videos. The more videos that you share, the better. I see it's a pop, a cool pop. And I think I know who sent it. I didn't buy it. Let me see if I'm correct. Um, it says it's a gift from Funko Rebel. Thank you so much, Funko Rebel. He got me this cool Batman from Red Rain. Look at this Batman. This Batman looks amazing. Dracula style. Look at the blood there. Thank you so much, Funko Rebel. Again, follow him on Instagram. Follow him on his YouTube channel. Look at this. Ding. Okay, now we're gonna open up what we got from eBay. If you, if this is your first video, is checking me out, first don't forget to subscribe. And I do a lot of unboxing, I've done some toy hunts, I do reviews, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, lately, if you have missed a couple of my last episodes, I've been buying a lot of comic books, specifically from Thor, Stranger Academy, Venom, I think some Batman. But specifically the Batman with variant covers. I am into, and then you'll see later on, I'm into a series called There's Something is Killing the Children. I think I did a, you must have seen. If you're not, go check it out. It's, I did a review on it. Really cool series. It's by James Dinian. Same person that writes Batman, the actual Batman right now. So I'm here opening this eBay box, and again, they package it very well, a lot of tape, a lot of that blue tape, take it out, there it is, you can see all the tape, let me take the tape out, um, they put, oh yeah, yes, oh I remember, and I just read this comic too, I, I read the graphic, the, trade paper back on it. And I remember I was like, I want to order the first issue because supposedly it's going to be a Netflix series in the future because Boom Studios did a agreement with them, with Netflix, to produce some series of them. So I'm going to show you here. It's called Once in Future. This is the number one issue. This is, I think it's the sixth printing of this again i read it i will do a review on it it is very amazing the other comic that was there was the same one once in future number one but the first printing i am very happy with this series it has to do with it's in england has to do with king arthur lancelot uh and the duo of grandma and 
grandson. I will do a review on these ones. Um, highly recommend it. True story. And now let's open the next one. I'm trying to get a lot. I've been getting into a lot of indie comics lately. They're, I don't know, they're like so interesting now. Because usually I'm, I'm into Spider Man, Batman, Immortal Hulk is good too. Oh, I like this one. They didn't put a tape, they just put the comic book, and that's it. This is from Comic Book Relief. This is. Oh, Ruins. This is the first printing of Ruins of Ravencroft, Ravencroft Carnage. This is the first appearance of, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember, I don't, I don't remember his real name, but Chris Cassidy's father appears here. This is the first appearance. And it's the fr first printing. Um, it's pretty cool. I like the cover on it. Now let's open another one. This white one, there you go. Um, again, thank you, Funko Rebel, for the pop. I really enjoyed it. And again, if you haven't, go check his YouTube channel. It's really fun. Uh, let me open this baby up. Take the comic out. If it's not glued to it. It is glued to it. I'm trying to tell it, don't, don't. I've been telling sellers, don't put so many tape on it. It just ruins the whole experience. At least for me. I like my comics to be minty, minty, but not, don't, don't put so many tapes. This is Oblivion Song number two. This is another comic that I've been reading a lot. So I think I ordered the first issue and the second issue. This is the second one. Second issue of Oblique Green Song. This is the first printing. I did order the first one at the first printing, so I'm waiting for that one. Again, if you want to invest, I suggest on, invest on three on the first issues of Oblique Green Song, uh, Something's Killing the Children, and Once in Future. Because when if they hit Netflix, which I hope they do, those comics are gonna go up in value especially right now uh there's something killing the children has gone in value really really high the first comic book sells for over 90 dollars raw not cgc not graded and i'm opening the last rock it says my last name um there you go, open this baby up. Let's see what we got. It is, I don't know where it is here. They put a lot of tape on it. It looks like it's two comic books. Let me make sure to take them out. Again, they really package these comic books well. But again, whoever taped this, it's no complaint. It's a smoker because it literally smells like cigarettes. I'm straight edge. I don't smoke, I don't drink. But next time, at least throw a little spray on it so it doesn't smell like smoke. Oh, cool. He gave me an extra comic book. That's cool. Okay, this is a sampler he sent me to. It's from the Hill House comic, like a little preview of it. But the comic that was there was, and I did say it, Oblivion Song number one. So now I have issue one and two. This is really a great story. It could literally be a, I think it's off auction for a movie, which would be cool if they have the good actors for it. So that was my haul today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's a little bit different, comic, comic and pops. Um, if you enjoy my channel, don't forget to subscribe. 
like my videos, tell everyone, share it. And tell your mom, your dad, your uncle, and even your grandma because my grandma follows me. And stay safe, be awesome. Booyah!